Hey, Enio. Is there something you're hiding from me? Would you like to tell me about it? Huh? Katia, what in the world are you talking about? I'm not hiding anything from you. I already know, so it's no use trying to hide it. Spill it. Uh, you make it sound like I'm guilty, but I'm really not hiding anything from you. Are you absolutely sure about that? Trying to hide it will only make me angrier, you know, so I would just tell me if I were you. Um, I ate the last pudding that was in the fridge? Is that what you're angry about? <laughs> I know I shouldn't have eaten your food, but there's no reason to get <laughs> so mad, Gaia. What in the world are you talking about? P pudding? Yeah, I know you said that the last one was yours. I didn't mean to. I forgot you said it when I ate it. If that's what you're mad about, then I bought three of the same pudding earlier, so forgive me. Oh, is that so? Huh, wait, that's not what I'm talking about. What? Then what are you talking about? I don't really have anything else I'm hiding from you. Are you feeling all right, Katia? I'm feeling fine. I'm talking about something a little bit more important. It's something so important that it will change our relationship from now on. I'm sorry, but I really have no idea what you're talking about. Could you just tell me? You know that I went on a business trip to a place near your hometown today, right? I went to the supermarket on my way home to the hotel when two people, one of whom called herself your mom, approached me. What? Are you sure about that? Is she with you now? No, I'm currently on my own, so rest assured. The woman who called herself your mom had a mole under her right eye and called herself Savina. Really? My mom also has a mole under her right eye and is named Savina, but... How does she even recognize you? I've never introduced her to you since I already cut ties with my family back home five years before we got married. Apparently your mother found out about me when she saw the picture of us at your friend's wedding. You know, the one your brother was also invited to. Oh, that wedding? I was surprised to see my brother there. It was the first time I'd seen him in six years. So that's how she found out about you then. Not only that, your mother had a five-year-old girl with her. Huh? A five-year-old girl? Was it a grandchild or something? Yes, she said that she was her granddaughter. So that means that my brother got married and had children? No. This child wasn't your brother's, she said. She said that it was yours. Huh? What in the world are you talking about? You know that's impossible, right? No, all I know now is that you've been lying to me all this time. You had a secret child living in your parents' house? Why didn't you tell me about this when we got married? Hold on, I don't have any such secret child. You know that's impossible, right? I'm not going to let you lie to me again. Tell me who this child's mother is or I'm getting divorced to you. But I haven't been to my parents' house in 10 years. I told you this already, right? I also told you why I became distant with my family there, right? Besides, you're not the kind of person to let your emotions take control of you, Katia. You're the kind of person to make logical decisions, right? I know you're probably surprised by all this, but... Oh, but I'm always logical. I'm asking you again. Who is that child's mother? Huh? But I already told you that I have no such secret child. It's probably my brother, so ask him if you want. He was always so careless with women. Stop trying to make this your brother's responsibility. I'm not going to go home until you give me a satisfactory answer. If you won't tell me, then fine. I'll give you until tomorrow. Bye. Katia, but I told you I don't even know who that child is. Why are you suddenly being like this? Long
long time no see, Ennio. I never thought that I would be texting you about something like this. But I think that me bumping into your wife at the supermarket is some sort of fate. Please take your daughter that you left here five years ago. Hello, mother. Long time no see. Can't say it's a pleasure. Oh, so I see you finally unblocked me. No hard feelings anymore? No, I haven't forgiven you and brother what you did to me all those years ago. I just have no choice because it looks like you made contact with my wife. Let's just get things straight first. I don't have a child. I don't know what the hell you're planning, but don't get my wife involved in this. But your wife listened to what I had to say. She believed me and not you. And that's why she texted you yesterday, didn't she? If you don't tell her who the mother is, she really is going to divorce you, you know. Actually, she's probably going to divorce you either way now. I mean, I can't blame her. After all, you have been keeping a child secret from her all this time. You not telling her about this when you two got married is enough reason to get divorced, I'm afraid. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but this secret child of yours isn't mine. Oh, is that so? And do you have proof that can back up this claim of yours? Who knows? Maybe you had a child, but just never knew about it. It's possible. Why don't we do a DNA test then? We'll know for sure then. Huh? A, a DNA test? What's that? I've never heard of it. Isn't DNA the thing that determines our characteristics or something? Uh, what does that have to do with this? Oh, look it up yourself. I'm not going to explain high school biology to you, mother. All that matters is that if me and this child take a DNA test, then we'll know for sure whether he's my child or not. I can tell you with certainty, though, that's not my child. Is that so? But are you going to be able to convince your wife, Katya? I don't think she's going to believe you even then. You see, I get the feeling that she's not going to be convinced by your fancy DNA tests. I see. Judging by what you've been saying until now, you've seen the conversation with Katya I had yesterday, no? But Katya said that she was alone when she sent me those texts. Did she share it to you or something? Who knows? Maybe I saw it, maybe I didn't. What's important is that your wife isn't going to forgive you until you tell her who this child's mother is. Katia? What do you want? I told you I wouldn't be coming home until you gave me a satisfactory answer. If you don't confess soon, I'm going to divorce you. I can prove that that child isn't mine. We can have a DNA test done if you want. Huh? A, a DNA test? What's that? Stop trying to fool me again. I know this child is yours. So tell me who the mother is or I'm going to divorce you. Uh, I don't know why you're suddenly acting like this, Katia. You were never the type to let emotions cloud your judgment. I told you already, I'm being completely logical right now. So there's no use trying to lie to me. Alright, I understand. Anyways, your friend from middle school just contacted me. Huh? My friend from middle school? You made a promise to meet them next week, right? He told me to tell you since you only knew our home number. I know we're currently in the middle of something, but I promised him I'd tell you, so I will. Oh, is that so? What did he have to say then? It's to a W station, all right, just like we planned, he said. Yep. Tell my friend that no changes need to be made. Got it. I'll tell you one more time, though. I don't have a secret child. All right. But I'm not going to go home until I find out the truth.
Anyo, I just snuck out of your mother's house. She was holding me captive in my room, even locking it from the outside. But I was able to jump out through the window. Luckily, I didn't get hurt. I'm currently on the way to the W station by taxi. Um, is this according to plan? I realized that this was just like that spy game we played recently. So I played it out exactly like in the game, but... Yep, I'm glad you got the message. The meeting next week is actually tomorrow, Sunday. Which is the first day of the week, and by 2, I mean 2 a.m. Even though people normally assume that it would be 2 p.m. Oh, so it was just like in the game. I wasn't sure whether you had gotten my secret messages, but it seems like it worked out. Yep, you were pretty impressive too, Katia, with those secret messages. You must have done a great job fooling my mother as well. <laughs> yep, I used to be in the theater club, remember? Acting is a pretty useful skill, you know. What did you think of, I'm always logical? <laughs> that was perfect. I remember you telling me that someone who was truly logical would never say such a thing. You knew that I would get your message, so you sent it to me while being watched by my mother, right? Yep, exactly. Oh, I'm almost at W Station. Alright, I'll park the car at the South Rotary, so wait for me near the stairs. A, a car? What does it look like? Ah, it's a red car that I rented. Let's go home, Katia. Yep. Neo! Did you sneak Katya out last night? I went to her room to give her some food earlier, but she was gone. How in the world did you do it? Hello, Mother. It seems that you forcefully dragged Katya, who you saw by accident at the supermarket, back to your home and made her take care of this secret child of yours. I knew what you were doing, but I decided not to tell you since it would ruin the element of surprise. How in the world did you find out? You see, I got a call from Katia's company saying that she wasn't going to work and that they weren't able to contact her. Right after that, she sent me, or rather you forced her to send me, those texts about this secret child of mine. Meaning that it was obvious to me that you had done something to Katia. Yeah, but... That wife of yours seemed suspicious of you from the start. She was furious when I told her that you had a secret child. Yeah, she was just acting. Impressive, right? Apparently, she used to be in the theater club. She was acting? She knew what was going on, and so she had secret SOS signals in those messages that you made her send me. But... You still have no proof that the child isn't yours. I haven't been to that town in ten years. How could it possibly be my child? I don't know. Why are you asking me? You're the one who left her here. Fine, I'll tell you how I know that isn't my child. Katya is the first person I've had sex with. Huh? Seriously? Weren't you like 28 when you married her? Yes, but that's not the point. There's no way I have a secret child because Katya has never been pregnant before. I'm not like my brother who does it with all sorts of women all the time. I have no idea why you suspected me and not him in the first place. Uh, but it can't be your brother's child. So you do know, huh? That child is my brother's child, isn't it? You went a bit too far with this fun. I won't even take responsibility for it. The truth is that the woman who gave birth to that child did her best to raise her daughter until she was five years old. Even though she wasn't married to my daughter. But the stress was just too much for her, and she fell mentally ill. So she gave the child to my brother and entered a facility for the mentally ill. This is what happened, right? How? You've been away for ten years. How do you know all that? It's true that I left that place, but I still have some friends there, you know. One of those friends is a person that has a variety of connections and knows basically everything going on in that town. 
I contacted him and he was able to find out the truth for me in an instant. I didn't know you had friends like that. By the way, I know about brother as well. He's now unemployed and just stays in his room all day, right? Two years ago, he tried to put his hands on the CEO's daughter and ended up enraging her dad, the CEO. And so he was fired from his job and is still unemployed to this day. Is that correct? You even know that? But I haven't even told anyone. What I saw from here is just my guess, but this is what I think happened. You and Dad relied on Brother's salary to make a living until now, since Dad didn't have a job. But now that Brother is unemployed as well, you no longer have the money to support yourselves, let alone a grandchild. That's when you set your eyes on me, your other son who earns a steady salary working at an office. You first were planning to convince me to send you guys money every month, or maybe of moving in with you for... Um, we weren't planning on doing anything like that. We just wanted you to reunite with your family again. Shut up, we were never a family. Anyways, while you were scheming, you suddenly saw my wife catch you at the supermarket. I had never introduced her to you, but you had seen photos of her from a wedding that brother and I were invited to. And so, you suddenly came up with the idea of using Katia. You told her that this grandchild of yours was my secret child, wanting to make her doubt me. If the two of us got divorced, you would have pushed that child on me saying it was mine. If the two of us didn't get divorced, you would still push that child on me to be raised me and Katia's child and... And maybe even convince us to move in with you so I could provide you three as well. Either way, you intended on making me take full responsibility for this child of brothers. How do you know even that? I was just guessing, but judging by your reaction, I was correct. But you haven't been here for ten years. How could you possibly have guessed all that? It doesn't matter if I haven't been there in ten years. I know how the three of you think, and it seems like it hasn't changed all these years. To think that you three are still as rotten as you were ten years ago when I left. Disgusting. Leaving was the best decision I ever made. What did you say to us? I'm your mother, you can't talk to me like that. Oh? And what are you gonna do about it? You know what, why didn't I give you a suggestion? If you have the time to make up these schemes, then why didn't you convince my brother to get a job instead? What? But that's impossible. Ugh, how the hell is it impossible? Brother has a responsibility of a father now. The Iwanami Construction Group, famous for turning degenerates like my brother into upstanding citizens, has an office in our hometown, right? Why not send him there? The Iwanami Construction Group? But, but they're no joke. Who knows what will happen to your brother if he gets sent there? They're a business partner of mine, so I already told them about my brother and how I would love to join them. You what? What in the world do you think you're doing sending your brother to the Iwanami Construction Group? Don't you have any compassion for your brother? You were always so heartless, Enio. I didn't send him just yet. You're the ones who are going to decide whether he'll go or not. But I heard that they have company apartments where the workers' families can come and live with them. Why don't you and Dad join my brother at the Iwanami Construction Group too? I mean, you're degenerates just like he is, after all. Uh, actually, I'll pass. Um, do you really think that you guys have any other option? What are you going to do, go homeless instead? What? Uh, but... You could provide for us, Enio. Please, son. I know we didn't get along so well, but we're still your family, right? You kidnapped my wife and hold her captive at your house. You know, when she saw me, she hugged me immediately and started crying. She must have been terrified. Do you really think I'm going to forgive you for that? Let alone fucking give you guys money. How delusional are you? You three can rot in hell for all I care. Um, Enio, but I'm your mother. You can't speak like that to your mother. 
I know you're not actually like this. I know you're a kind-hearted soul. I'm your mother, so please help us. Don't pretend you're my mother after everything you've done until now. Didn't you used to make me eat canned food when you would cook a proper dinner for everyone else? Huh? But we raised you for 18 years. Don't you think that you have a duty to provide for us when we're the ones who need help? You're trash, Mom. Those are the worst 18 years of my life. You always treated me like how Harry Potter's aunt and uncle treated him. I got my wife back already, so I'm done with people. I'm going to change my phone number as well, so you'll never be seeing me again. Wait, Ennio, don't go. We don't want to go to the Iwanami Construction Group. I heard what they do to workers that slack off, please. Send your brother, but don't send me and your dad. We're too old to do hard labor. You should have thought about that earlier. Goodbye. I doubt we'll ever see each other again. One hour after that, two black vans came to my parents' home. My mom and dad got put into one van and my brother and his child got put into the other. The two vans went in separate directions after that. According to the Iwanami Construction Group, he'll never feel like he himself is a father. And so they decided to place them in different camps. They just started working, so what happens to them from now on is up to them. Both my parents and my brother work hard labor every day, day and night. Being made sure by their supervisors that they don't slack off. Also, brother's child apparently started going to kindergarten and seems to be enjoying it. Which I'm glad to hear. I intend on cutting ties with the three of them. But I hope that one day they are in fact reborn into upstanding citizens. Just like the Iwanami construction group says they will be. Hey, Ali, are you free now? Hey, Lisa, where do you think I am right now? Come to think of you, I haven't seen you in a while. It seems like your sister and her husband is doing drop-off at kindergarten. I'm traveling right now. For a week? It's just a turning point right now. I have another week left. That's such a long trip. That's why your sister is taking care of your son. Exactly. My son might get a father from this trip. A dad? Do you know since I've been divorced my husband two years ago, I'm a single mom? I wanted to give my son a dad, so I've been trying to find a decent guy. So that means this trip is with your boyfriend? Exactly. I texted you because I wanted to let you know that it's related to you. To me? Why does it matter to me? I guess it's faster if I show you the picture. What? This is my boyfriend. Wait a minute, this is my husband, Michael. Exactly. So the trip that Michael said he would go on with his friends from school. It was an affair, a trip with you, Lisa. Exactly. Why? What? Why is it my husband? It's obvious, your husband is an ex-CEO, and the company is pretty big right now. He has very high specs. I think he's the perfect father for my son. I don't think that's what your mom wants to say. Anyways, I think it's normal to find your future husband from a single man. Are you crazy for going for a married man? Well, if you divorce him, Michael will be single. I'm saying you should find a single man from the beginning. Whatever you say is too late anyways. Michael is mine. We are both connected by heart and body. You. Oh, I will pay you alimony. I'm going to have a nice life with Michael so money isn't a problem. That's not the point. You need to calm down. After we enjoy the trip from the week, we will be back. Come home now. You've told me everything now and I can't let you be for another week. No. Lisa. There's no point in texting Michael. What? Didn't he tell you that he couldn't reply to you during the trip? Did you do that? Of course. I wanted to enjoy my time with him so I made him turn his phone off. What? Does my husband know you told me about the affair? Not yet, but I'm telling you now so when we get back, it's easier for him to get a divorce from you. So, you made this decision on your own. Don't say that. He's going to love this surprise that I'm preparing for him. Well, anyways, I'm going to turn off my phone as well. See you in a week. Bye. Good morning, Allie. This is Lisa's sister, Haley. Thank you for giving me your contact information the other day. 
Hello, good morning. I'm sorry to text you so suddenly, but do you know anything? I can't get in contact with my sister. What? My sister is on a trip with her current boyfriend right now. I had to text her because of an emergency. I've called her many times, but she doesn't answer. She doesn't read her texts and doesn't reply to my emails as well. I also contacted the hotel they were staying, but it seems that they have checked out. I have no idea where she is. So, you have no idea where she is? Exactly, so I'm texting all the moms from kindergarten. Lisa has her phone turned off. Why? She doesn't want people interrupting her trip with her boyfriend. I think she'll keep it that way until she gets back from the trip. Do you know anything? I don't understand why she has her phone off the whole time. From the looks of this, it seems that you don't know whom your sister is dating. Yes, she said that she can't introduce him to anyone yet. She told me she would tell me when the marriage is final. I see. So I guess she knew that it wouldn't be good if people found out. What are you talking about? Her boyfriend is my husband. Are you kidding me? She sent me a picture of them flirting on the trip. I'm going to ask them about the details when they get back, but according to the picture, I think it's true. I'm so sorry about my sister. I can't believe she did this again. Again? I'm going to tell you since you're involved now. My sister got divorced from her ex-husband because she cheated on him. Her son wasn't her ex-husband's child. I see. I'm so sorry. It's not for you to apologize, but you're also being forced to take care of her son, right? You're also a victim. Thank you for thinking about me. I don't know what to say. So you said you want to contact your sister? What happened? Well, actually, your mother is sick and she might not make it. Is that so? We are in an unpredictable situation. That's why I'm trying to contact her. I see. I guess you don't have time to text me right now. My uncle is looking after her right now. I'm so sorry to tell you about the affair at a time like this. It's okay. Now I made my decision. I'm going to cut ties with my sister. I don't care what you do to her. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go back to my mom. I'm sorry to cause you trouble. Yes, please take care of your mother. Hello, Ali. I'm on the bullet train right now. I'm on my way home now, so I turned my phone on a week. It was an amazing trip. He loved me so much, I am so happy. Well, I guess it's not a good story for you. I'm sorry to go on the trip with your husband. By the way, have you processed with a divorce? I want to marry him and become rich. Anyways, it's great that people aren't going to talk shit about me anymore. Know that I'm going to marry a rich man? I think my mom is going to shut up. I am at your mom's funeral right now. What? What funeral? Are you talking about my mom? Missed call. Explain what's going on. I'll text you when it's over. Ali, what are you talking about? Is this a prank? It's a pretty bad joke. Missed call. Missed call. Hey. Lisa. Ali, you need to explain what's going on. My sister isn't replying to me. Yes, your sister is busy with the funeral. I don't think she has time to look at our phone. What? I heard your father passed away a while ago, and she wasn't able to contact you at a time like this. She's doing her best right now. So, is it true that mom died? I don't have the personality to make jokes about someone's death. It's not a prank? The night you turned off your phone, your mom was in a dangerous state. She tried for a few days, but sadly she passed away early morning the day before yesterday. No way! I thought she was going to smile at me w again if I married a rich man. I see. Is that why you were still my husband? Exactly. My mom was so mad at me when I divorced my ex-husband. I would assume so. So next time, I said I should marry a rich man so my mom doesn't have to worry about her future. I was going to be able to tell her that. Hey, your mom didn't want that. You don't know anything. You're a stranger. Your sister Haley told me the story. My sister? Your mother knew that you were dating a married man again. What? There's a will. A will? The official release hasn't happened yet and I don't think I should tell you so you should ask your sister. Hey Haley. Hey sis, you finally turned your phone on. About mom. I'm at the crematorium right now. Oh, the family is waiting for it to be over. So it's true. Did Ali tell you? I bet you texted her after the trip and she told you about the funeral. 
I'm guessing. I am. You don't have to come over. What? I won't even allow you to pray for mom. Don't come to her house either. Ever. Hey, Haley. What? Ali told me about mom as well. Yes, the official release is going to happen soon. Mom told me a little while before her state became critical. She said that you won't understand anything with words. So she said that she left everything to me. What? She looked very sad. Why? I was about to tell her that I'm going to marry a rich man. If she knew I had a boyfriend, why would she do that? Why don't you understand? Why is it? I don't think she cares if you marry a rich person or not. I don't think that's the problem she had. Then, but it can't be a married person. What? Mom always said that my happiness was the best. Mom was sad that you were trying to gain happiness by bringing others down. She said the happiness you gain from bringing others down is not going to last. Mom was sad because she thought that you can't gain happiness this way. You can't tell me now. We've told you many times. What? But you just kept interpreting things in your own way and you didn't understand mom's feelings. And now you had an affair with Ali's husband. You repeated the same thing you did two years ago. Because... I don't want to hear excuses. Haley, I'm cutting ties with you. What? All the relatives know about your acts as well. I don't think anyone's going to help you. What? Also, your son is going to be raised by us. We're going to adopt him. No way, I'm the mother. How can you say that? You left me to raise him. What? He likes us more than you already. What? We should discuss this later with a third person. I have to go back to where everyone is, so see you later. Hey, Ali. I see you have talked to your sister. Well, I'm going to tell you what I want to tell you now. Why are you so strict? I'm going to divorce my husband, but he's not rich. What? The current CEO is my father. It's not his father? I'm his only daughter, so Michael was going to be the new CEO. What? But if Michael doesn't have the skills, and I might be the next CEO, or it could be another person who has amazing skills that are not related to us. We're still at that stage. Are you kidding me? So there is no way that Michael is automatically the next CEO. No way. Also about Michael, the company has decided what's going to happen to him. What's going to happen to him? It's outrageous that a man who is supposed to become a CEO has an affair. It doesn't matter that he's getting a divorce from me, but he is not going to be the next CEO. What? He also had the affair while he was working, so he also interrupted his work. It's against so many of the company's compliances that he is going to be fired. What? That means he's not going to have anything left. Exactly. It's all your fault, though. Anyways, I'm going to demand alimony for the infidelity. My lawyer will contact you. What? Well, that's all I have to say. How can you do this? I just lost my mom. And my sister is trying to take my son as well. Do you have a heart? How can you say that? You can show me a little bit of mercy. I'm not going to show you mercy. Why? Anyways, excuse me. Arranging a week of mixed emotions has passed. I got a divorce from Michael. He made excuses a lot since he thought he was just having fun with Lisa. But when I told him I would go to court, his parents also talked to him and it was solved in three days. Lisa is also going through a custody battle with her sister, but it seems like her sister is going to win. She also broke up with Michael because she told me about the affair before Michael agreed to tell. Both of them are working hard to pay off the alimony. Now Lisa is not even allowed to stand in front of her mother's grave. She texted me once saying she was sad and she was lonely. I didn't reply and blocked her.